right, hey guys, it's Brittany. So today we're gonna to be talking about coolers. Um, so one of the things that I noticed is that a lot of times when I was looking for coolers to store my breast milk in, um, a lot of the posts online, they would give me like the traditional Skip Hop cooler, um, but that's not what I was looking for. I was really interested in a cooler that would hold my breast milk for long-term storage in the case of travel. So um, when you're traveling like six, eight, 12 hours, 24 hours, what's gonna keep that breast milk cold um, or in a frozen state? So today I'm gonna be reviewing some coolers that I found online um, and then we're gonna see how well they work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually um, take the coolers, I have them here, um, I'll show you each one and I'm going to put a five ounce uh, frozen bag of breast milk um, and check them over 24, 36 hours um, and see how long they last and which one actually performs the best. So let's get started. So the first one that I have up um, is actually the cheapest. It is the Coleman 24 hour cooler. Um, this was about 13 bucks at Amazon. All of my coolers are from Amazon, by the way. So this was about $13. Um, it is a nine can capacity, so it doesn't actually fit that much inside of it. Um, I've actually already used this on one trip for about I think it was six or eight hours and it lasted pretty well. Um, but I want to test it long term because this one actually comes in a 24 can. So um, just to see how long it'll last, uh, especially compared to the more expensive ones. So if you're not looking to spend like hundreds of dollars on like a Yeti or um, some of the more expensive pools I have here are like $70. Um, I really am interested to see how this one holds up. So first one is the Coleman cooler, $13. Um, the 24 can one is probably like $20. Next up, I have the Ice Mule. So when you search coolers on Amazon, this one actually comes up a lot, the Ice Mule. Um, and it's actually kind of unique. Let me back up to show you. So um, it comes with a valve that you actually blow air into. I was like looking at this dress, like how does this work? So you blow air in here. There's no zippers in this thing at all. What you do is you blow it up, uh, but not too much. So you have storage capacity and then you take it and you fold it down. And then after you fold it down, you take it and you loop it around. So it kind of looks like a, it's, it's more cylinder, if you will. Um, it comes with a strap. It floats. I don't know why you want it to float, but it floats. This one is about $70 um, and it's a 15 liter capacity. So as you can see, it's quite a big size. Um, if you were traveling, this would definitely fit uh, only in a full size suitcase. So Ice Mule is the next one, $70 that I'm going to try out. Then I have the AO cooler. So I actually have this in two sizes because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So this one is the 24 can one. So it's pretty big. It fits the entirety almost of my big carry-on luggage. This one is about $70. So it's actually comparable to the Ice Mule. Um, it is a lot bigger than the Ice Mule. Um, but I found these online. Um, like I said, when I was searching breast milk coolers, the blocks just weren't giving me what I needed. So I actually just started searching coolers in general. And one mom um, actually had put that she had moved from here to, I think it was South Africa over three days and it kept her breast milk frozen solid. So um, that is why I'm trying out the AO cooler. This huge one, I actually got in a smaller size too. So this is the 12 can capacity. So um, a lot smaller than the other one. Uh, I'll probably, depending on how these holds up, if the AO cooler wins, I'll probably keep this one just because I feel like the other one is way too big. Um, so this is the 12 can capacity, same brand though. Um, I am planning on going overseas for about seven days. Um, just as a point of reference, this um, size, probably fits enough breast milk with what I pump now for maybe two, maybe three days at the most. So um, if you're going overseas or you're going on a trip for a long time, you plan on bringing something back, you're definitely gonna need something bigger um, than this. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna put the five ounces in here. I am going to monitor them. So it's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, so I will check first at 12 hours and then I'll keep going. Um, just to see and I'll come back uh, and let you guys know. Okay, so it's about 
3.30, so it hasn't been quite 12 hours yet, but something told me to come and check um, because I was up feeding. So it's 3.30 a.m. And the ice meal, as you can see, has some crystals, but not a lot. Um, Coleman is pretty much all defrosted. Um, some crystals, but not really. And the AO cooler actually held up the best. I think I will try it with ice, uh, but so far, um, this is actually probably all defrosted, maybe a little bit um, left. So I'm actually gonna freeze these back. I'm glad I put them in plastic bags because as you can see, they leaked, um, which happens a lot to me using freezer bags. It doesn't matter what kind of freezer bag I use, um, up and up, Medela doesn't seem to matter. But, alright guys, so I only used one ice pack in each bag, so I wasn't expecting it to stay frozen for the full 24 hours. But I did again the Coleman, the AO Cooler, and then the Ice Mule. So the Coleman um, Cooler Ice Packs are all defrosted, by the way. Um, so I'm just judging it based off of touch. So this one is kind of cool to the touch still. Um, still cold. Um, the... Ice meal is probably the second coldest, but I would say these two are fairly close to each other in terms of how cold they are, um, which is kind of crazy considering this is like 10 times the cost, um, seven times the cost, sorry. And then the AO cooler has definitely the coolest of the ice packs. So in terms of which one held up better, I would still say the AO cooler versus the Coleman or the ice meal. All right, guys, so I'm back finally with my final thoughts on the coolers. So as you guys saw, um, between the three, AO Coolers, Ice Mule, and Coleman, the AO Cooler consistently performed better. Now, sometimes it wasn't by much, but but it did. Um, so overall, I would say AO Coolers is my number one pick. Um, at the time, I was planning on testing this out because I was going to be traveling for a long distance um, and for a long period of time. So I actually kept the really big one um i don't really have any for it now so it's not going anywhere but i kept the really big one um i know other moms who have had this um and they've said that it performed very well but it's very difficult to find someone who's specifically reviewed these for breast milk um so it definitely holds up well my coleman um i would use if i was traveling for a short distance shorter period of time under 24 hours um, but it is a lot cheaper. So uh, definitely is worth a look. I, I would say look into that one as well. So either the AO or if you're price conscious, um, the Coleman 24 hour, um, you can get it really cheap on Amazon and in a large size. Um, so yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.